All of the products you're about to see have all been purchased with my own funds. The views expressed are solely my own. I'm not being paid, sponsored, or reimbursed in any way, shape, or form. If you or your company would like to have this disclaimer removed from one of my future videos, please feel free to contact me for an unbiased review of your product or service. Thank you for your support. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And on to the video. We're going to be looking at the ZooMed thermometer and hygrometer, one of the cheapest sensors that you can buy. We're going to be looking, as you can see, a couple aren't working, and I'll explain that. But on average, they all hold the same, if not about the same, temperature and humidity-wise. Now, these few that are showing 10 or 11, sometimes they show 99 when they've been overexposed to water. Their hygrometers have burned out in them, um, various reasons. I have one here that I cracked open just to show you what's actually inside of it. It's just the cover to it. That's the brains to the hygrometer. You can see the way it gets put into these little plastic things. You can see the glue there. It ends up severing the wire from a little bit of bending or flexing, which is bound to happen. It's not garbage. But it needs to be resoldered or rewired. I don't think you would want to put a wire nut on there. As you can see, the other side looks like it could break away just the same and just as easily. If I were to make contact with those two, it would start showing. I believe it's this one. It would start showing that it is working. So if you just make contact again, it'll end up working. Um, as you can see, I have three that are like this. This one I know for sure that I could uh, end up fixing. And this cover just goes on to protect it. But other than that, for the price I can't complain. I've actually moved away from using these so much. I used them mainly for humidity's sake. It's hard to judge humidity until you know what you're actually doing or what your room is at or your particular enclosure. I still like to keep them at different levels in my rack to get an idea where I'm at. Now, like I said, all these show about the same average, but there's one that's a little bit different in a few ways. This is just a thermometer. It's the ZooMed thermometer. Now, it runs hotter than all of the others, all the time, by about two and a half degrees. It has a different probe. It has a plastic probe, where all of these have a metal probe. This plastic probe looks like the same probe that's used on the ZooMed thermostat. Might be a little more heavy duty on the thermostat, but it, it looks almost exactly the same. Where these are metal. Not exactly sure why it runs so hot. Being plastic, you'd think that it would... Uh, protect it a little bit more and uh, keep it cooler, but it doesn't. You can switch to Celsius from Fahrenheit to Celsius and just switch a button mid working. Whatever floats your boat or from whatever side of the pond you're on. They all come with a battery. They run about they fluctuate in price. The cheapest I've gotten them is $8. I tend to find a better price in double packs. As you can see, I have eight of them here on the table, plus the regular thermometer. They come in handy. My biggest use has been in temporary enclosures. Being able to set up a temporary enclosure, set a couple of these up, ambient temperature, set one with the hot spot where the thermostat probe is to get a, a double reading just to have that peace of mind. I definitely use an infrared thermometer when doing that though also. I always like to check and check again. Have something to check it against. So for the money I definitely would recommend these. I wouldn't pay much more than $12. I've seen them $15 to $20 singly. 
uh, as easily as they can break. Um, end up just cutting the wire on some of them just to be done with it. Just have it as a thermometer just like this one. Which is my main use for them uh, anymore now that I, I don't need to monitor the the humidity as hard. I have more of a, a grasp on what I'm doing. As you will too, but this is definitely, definitely recommended as a stepping stone. Or even just something, a little bit of peace of mind. You know, you can walk by and look at it and see. You know, I always like to keep one out. Get my room temperature. As you can see, we're getting a 76 in here in the reptile room. Which is pretty good since varying species in here right now. 